What's up, folks? Welcome to the 98th episode of Tales from the Archive here on Handle Arbor Games. My name is Zach from Another Letdown Media and the Adjacent Hex Podcast. I will be your host this evening, per usual. Tales in the Archive is the show where we use the medium of Sentinels of the Multiverse, the digital game, to tell a story of some kind. Some will be tales from the actual Sentinel storylines, and others will be totally original and or based on previous work. For consistency's sake, I do try to match each story up with an existing Sentinel Comics book title that has been mentioned previously by either Christopher or Adam, or both. But by no means does that make these real or official canon or anything like that. You can sort of think of these as the Earth-603 Sentinels of the Multiverse. There will often be times where I deliberately make a play that doesn't make a whole lot of sense strategically, or play under some unusual stipulation, because it contributes in some way to the narrative we've created. I will do my best to try and win games, but even heroes fall sometimes, and that just makes for fun, interesting, and exciting stories. As with all the shows that we host here on the Handle Arbor Games channel, as well as the Another Letdown channel, we believe in civil rights for absolutely everyone and in being as inclusive as possible, so any comments or activity actively working against that goal are not welcome and will not be tolerated. So, without any more delay, let's open ye olde book of the multiverse and get this party started. Um, so I'm honestly surprised we haven't seen any issues with this team uh, coming through the rifts lately, but during our weekly stream uh, research meeting, that was Thursday night during Zach Sucks at Games on my channel, tune in, it's fun, we found that each issue of a four-issue crossover series had appeared over the last couple of weeks through a different stream gate. One here in the Northeast, uh, one at Stream HQ down in Ohio, uh, another out at the, uh, the Denmark portal, um, and, and, and one other besides. Um, and we were sort of able to put this story together, uh, even though we had received these issues and had no context to where they belonged. Uh, it was an event between the main titles uh, involving Knife, Parse, uh, Mr. Fixer and the Southwest Sentinels, although uh, specifically focused on, around Mainstay. Uh, this is actually just after... Uh, anyway, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, where during... Uh, due to a certain kerfuffle in New York... Or, sorry, in Rook City, uh, the four of them were forced to relocate to Megalopolis and operate there and establish a new cover, uh, sort of in the shadow of the Freedom Five, which is a little bit of an odd situation for any hero to be in, especially when they're as established as the ones that we're dealing with today. Uh, chronologically, this place, this issue takes place somewhere, I guess, ambiguously in the timeline, um, as Mr. Fixer has not yet died. However, um, whoops, uh, Mainstay does have his Oblivion Shard. Uh, anyway, let's get into it. Uh, you know, stream researchers will figure out where this belongs chronologically and we'll put it away. But it, it's a neat story and I, I feel like we should, uh, we should broadcast it even without that information. Uh, so the first issue opens up in of all places, Chairman Pike's jail cell. Uh, the, door, the cell door slams shut, and we see Legacy's cape sort of floating away down the edge of the panel and into um, er, and down the hallway. Uh, a voiceover reads, Is it done? Yeah, boss, it's done. Everything went off without a hitch. Your artifact's on display, and the robbery should commence shortly. The chairman leans back against the wall with his hands behind his head. He smiles menacingly. Excellent. You've done well. I wouldn't want th to be the heroes of this city in the morning. The next panel shows Mr. Fixer hauling a large bag of tools up to a steel shuttered door on a brightly lit side street. Mainstay parks his motorcycle at the curb and chains it to a lamppost. Sorry to hear about the garage, Slim. Awful nice a legacy to find you some temporary digs, though. Mr. Fixer adjusts his hat but says nothing. The pair walk into the warehouse like facility as crash and clatter onomatopoeia obscure, obscure most of the next panel. What was that? Mainstay whips around, hauling the heaving the Oblivion Shard chain out of, a duffel, out of his own duffel bag. They, the, the two rush back outside, just as an orange blur swings by on a nearby lamppost, narrowly avoiding an arrow and a burst of energy. Before either of them can react, Mainstay gets trampled by something large moving exceptionally quickly. So, yeah, uh, welcome back to Tales from the Archive. We have a story tonight called Protectors for Profit. Uh, this was a story pitched to us um, during Zach Sucks at Games last Thursday night. Uh, it was a conversation between myself, uh, RPD234, Brian the Wolf Hunt. Um, there might have been one or two other people around. Uh, and I was actually fighting quite a lot of, uh, we'll call it research block this morning. And uh, so 
Um, let's see. We had uh, Sonvar. We had Chamali. We had um, RPD. And maybe one or two other people uh, kicking around in, in on Discord today helping me out uh, with some of the writing. So, uh, real team effort here. Hey, Team Orchid. How you doing? Um, yeah, real team effort today on, on the show. Uh, Protectors for Profit. The first game, we're going to have Mr. Fixer, Knife, Parse, and Mainstay uh, versus Ermin, Fright Train, Operative, and Sergeant Steel. Uh, Sergeant Steel, a bit of a wild card here. Um, we just kind of needed a fourth character to fill in the slot. Um he doesn't really have any bearing on the on the the plot other than the fact that you know his his relationship with knife um and and then of course uh ermine being being really the focal point here uh, along with fright train uh it is a team game i'm notoriously bad at these just because i get overwhelmed and and my focus starts drifting um but we'll see what we can do uh chat i'm gonna sort of lean on you to help me out a little bit here uh hey rpd um And of course we are in Megalopolis, which is just going to make things all that much more difficult. But, here we go. As I said at the top of the show... Hey, Westy. Um, the, as I said at the top of the show, um, you know, the, uh, uh, a, a loss really just drives the plot in a, in a slightly different direction here. And that's okay. Uh, we're very, we're very alright with that on the show. Um, so, starting out, um, we're going to have Mr. Fixer with... Now... I will make note, uh, there's there's a fair amount of irreducible damage coming from, from this team, uh, which is quite nice. Um, Mr. Fixer has, uh, uh, is it Alternating Tiger Claw? Um, Harmony, Overdrive, and Pipe Wrench. I'm not sure exactly what you mean, Orchid. Uh, Knife has Amplified Combatant, Incidental Contact, Overdo It, and uh, the Servo Gauntlet, the pr Prototype Servo Gauntlet. Um, which will come in handy later on in the plot. Um, uh, parse has buffer overflow, uh, critical multiplier. No, that's okay, Brian. That's perfectly fine. Uh, gauge and uh, segmentation fault. Um, none of the cards we were talking about earlier, but that's all right. Uh, and then, of course, Mainstay has uh, kick the tires, lonesome highway, and a brace of the school of hard knocks. What's up, Chamali? Chamali, one of our writers or researchers today. I should say researchers. Um, so yeah, big big ups to everybody who helped out with this story. Uh, I was fighting pretty epic writer's block this morning. Also, I was just woefully distracted by literally everything and anything in my room. Um, I just, you know, I wanted to watch YouTube videos or whatever. Uh, well, we talked about Critical Multiplier. Yes, RPD. I'm, t I'm talking about none of the alternate cards. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Orchid. Uh, just checking a thing real quick here. Sorry. Okay. All right, so we know that Ermin's going to play for Constant Prattle. She does that. Really not not important. Uh, Engine of Destruction, fine. Uh, Yaido Practitioner, yeah, we expect that too. Um, Arsonator, well, yeah. Mega Gunner. Okay, so the first damage is... Okay, I, I really don't think I care about that all that much. Yeah, I, I kind of like that it was a team effort, but that, that said, I, whoops, um, I do think that um, <laughs> Adam's Discord probably not the best place to be doing that, having that, those conversations. Also, it did uh, make starting up a, a little bit more uh, of a headache, but that's fine. Um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can fix that moving forward. Um, okay, so Tiger Claw makes damage irreducible that's kind of nice pipe wrench um actually pipe wrench is pretty good uh who are we calling public enemy number one here is it just fright train or is sergeant steel like actually that part that bigger problem he's gonna hit everything when he's down is it sergeant steel okay all right well we can start leveling damage in him i mean fright train is a nuisance but that's fine um so wow, this is actually a really gas hand for him. Uh, assuming nothing gets blown up. Sergeant Steel then Fright Train. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking, Mr. Seamus. Good glad I glad I didn't miss that beat. I love this art though. It's hysterical. Um Uh well, sure, RPD, but uh Adam doesn't really like us talking sentinels on his Discord. So I felt a little weird doing that. 
Uh, try to get rid of Engine of Destruction. Yeah, that's going to be a nuisance. Um, yeah, we might be able to do that. We'll, we'll keep an eye out on that. Um, I should know what the agents are doing here, actually, too. Uh, okay, so this is going to crack back. An Arsonator. Uh, not as much of a nuisance as Mega Gunner. question is do I try to get aggressive yeah exactly Orca that's what I was thinking all right um actually you know what if I do pipe wrench here I can crack at sergeant steel and not take the crack back from mega gunner which is pretty nice so we'll do that yep that's pretty nice yep Yep, yep, yep. Segmentation fault is really good to do that. Um, so he's going to do this. Ow. That's, that's a whole bunch of ow. I mean, I guess we expect that from him. Um, servo gauntlet. It's fine, but she's doing energy damage to start with, so... Oh, excuse me. I mean, that's fine. It's going to take a huge crack back, though, if we do that, because... Hmm. Um... Right. Yeah, that's true. That's three. And do I just crack in and take the crack back from Mega Gunner? Yeah, probably. The Nemesis damage is nice too. Yeah. Yep, exactly. It's very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Oh, man, these are all good, but honestly, getting rid of... Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, these are so good. That said, I can... Uh, all right, yeah, I'm, I'm going to discard Overdrive. I know that's that's loose, but... Um, that's good later. That's super good also. That's super good later. Let's probably just overdo it. Alright, we wanted to use Segmentation Fault to get rid of the ongoing stuff. Yep. Buffer Overflow is so good. Yeah, exactly, RPD. Am I right in thinking Gage is just a little too slow here? I'm leaning toward disc discarding this. Uh, I just... Yeah. Uh, we've got an extra school of hard knocks. That said, it's super good. Um, kick the tires and light the fires, Big Daddy. Um, oh, that's so good, too. That's true, Orchid. It does. Lonesome Highway is super good, too. Uh, I think I'm just going to discard one. <sighs> yeah. It's a little odd, but... Okay, cool. All right, so there's two ways to do this here. Mainstay does have kick the tires. Um, that said, it's a free play if I destroy one of my own cards, so I think I am going to play Segmentation Fault here to get rid of uh, the engine. Um, that'll also set us up for later when we need to get rid of things like AI Idol Practitioner, Constant Prattle, Uncatchable, things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to discard Buffer Overflow. Oh, 
it's so good. I mean, I could discard Critical Multiplier, but... Man. Yeah, alright. Buffer Overflow is super good, but... Getting rid of Engine of Destruction is also really, really important. That's solid. Data mining is real rock solid. <laughs> you could discard crit molt, but you could you would also be wrong. <laughs> I agree. Uh, does not already have a mission objective and an increased damage to those tar to targets in that. Wait, hold on. Play this card in a hero play area that does not already have a mission objective card in it. Increased damage to targets in this play area by agents by one. That's tough. I'm going to give it to Mainstay. That's jank, but... Arsenator got rid of the extra card for us, which is great. Okay. We're on to Mainstay's turn. Um, so Kick the Tire is still a valid option. Uh, Lonesome Highway, also a, uh, a valid option. Actually, this would deal a boatload of damage to Sergeant Steel. Yeah, well, that's... Yeah. If Oh, if Mainstay is the lowest. Oh. Well, hold on. I mean, I could hit himself with, with Lonesome Highway... Oh, it's non hero. Um, it could be just school of school of hard knocks. But that's a lot of damage coming in at him. That said, if only I had another way to play something. Man. Um, so it's Lonesome Highway next turn, probably. School just hit everything in Lonesome Highway next turn. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. All right, cool. All right, everything take a crack back. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Okay, another kick the tires comes in. Yeah, we got to be careful with mainstay. Like, I don't want him to drop here, but of course it's the monorail. That said, that's going to be... Oh, hang on. That's going to hit Fright Train for certain. Okay, another uncatchable. We're fine with that. Realistically, don't care. That's going to hit him, and that's fine. We will shuffle everything, or discard a bunch of stuff. And then we go to Mr. Fixer, which is fine. Um, toolbox is super good, but I feel like we can wait a turn on that one. Or a couple of turns, because we can do harmony and alternating. Um... Yeah, sure. I think Monorail's going to be helpful here if we can orchestrate it. Yep. You don't get to do that. Sweet! Bloody Knuckles is a good draw. Yeah, setup for Fixer is straight gas. Um, okay, yep, that's fine. Ow. God, he hits like a train. Um, okay, so we've still got the gauntlet here. Um, not for nothing, she is not the healthiest. But... Actually, overcharged Null Shield would protect her from Fright Train a little bit, which is kind of nice. Um... 
We will heroically throw villains into an oncoming train. That sounds like that sounds like the kind of thing that Power Man and Iron Fist would do. I mean, Schmauer Man and Schmeierschmist. I'm I'm super tempted to do the Null Shield here. That said, Amplified Combatant is super duper good. I mean, we're definitely using this power. If I can get... Hold on. This is going to be, what, four damage? So if I, I can get through for five, though? I don't know if I can do this. Because, like, I could chain this. If I could get through for five on Sergeant Steel, which I don't think I can. Let's see. This one is two, three, four, five. Yes, I can. Oh, cool. Hold on. There we go. Uh, that may not have done it. Oh, no, I did it. Lucky zero zero's here. Nice to see you, friend. Those are gonna go away. Um, I think we're gonna level at. Who's next, folks? I'm gonna go with. I am. I am well. Um... Yeah, it is freight train. Okay, that's what I thought. It has to be right because we still want the monorail to hit him. But I'm gonna go at. Uh... jerk over here uh, and this should kill sergeant steel like yes we're gonna take a damage here but big deal oh destroy didn't destroy a card all right well i thought i could chain that off but we got rid of him so that's that's the most important thing yep fine um yeah that's fine all right, cool. So we're one 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 fourth of the way there, and we're actually doing pretty well in terms of other other damage here. Um, so data mining. Oh right, of course, of course. Uh, so data mining would allow us to destroy a couple of the ongoing cards in play. Um, that would get us the yeah, Ido practitioner and like uncatchable I guess monorail's definitely hitting these two at this moment we're not discarding anything yeah I agree Sonvar man this is tough I could save data mining If you play crit multi, you can then discard it to do exactly the same thing. Yeah, that's true. Well, it's it's one less, right? Oh, no, no. Yeah, it is, it is exactly the same thing. It is functionally exactly the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so who's going to get a plus one here? Um, I guess it's mainstay. And we will destroy... I, I don't particularly, Sonvar, but like it's fine. I, th I think that was the right play. Just to give Mainstay that little boost. Sort of put him over the top. Um, who's next up? Um, like, Yaido Practitioner is not super relevant. I agree, Team Orchid. But it's fine. Like, uncatchable. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to blow up uncatchable. So that the monorail will actually hit her. And 
here's Sergeant Steele, who does a whole lot of nothing. Okay, this we've set ourselves up for a pretty strong lonesome highway here. Um, this is going to be so two. Okay, no matter. Uh, yep, no matter what, it's going to hit villains. The monorail is. So we're going to hit you. Yep, cool. Um, the question is, do I keep going at Fright Train? Well, I guess regardless, the monorail is going to hit Operative and Ermine. That said, yeah, exactly, Brian. Um, we were discussing it earlier. There's a number of different ways to play parse, and a, a lot of people overlook some of the other things. I, I personally like the critical multiplier strategy. It's just fun. Um, but there are a lot of valid ways to play parse. I'm just trying to figure out where to put this damage here. The other thing I guess I could blow up idolater. Oh, no, I couldn't. Reduce damage by three. Yeah, that stinks. Oh, okay. He's not doing anything particularly relevant. Um, all right, I'm tempted to go with Ermin here. Sure, why not? Since I blew up her... Uh, her stuff. We got three kick the tires. All right, well, fine. All right, monorail. Hit the villains. Nice. Impending casualty. Uh, what's this? Destroy one or take three. Oh, discard a card to destroy this card. Um, well, Parse could, can do critical multiplier shenanigans with that. Um, so I guess... We'll give this to Mr. Fixer. He's going to be doing extra damage anyway. Now, the monorail is now a potential problem. Yep, you don't get to do that. Uh, everybody discards a card? Okay, fine. Sorry, Toolbox. Parse can't discard a card. Um, Null Shield is... Infiltrate and Obfuscate is really good here. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with the Null Shield. And that one's a no-brainer. Okay. She's really just a nuisance. She's not particularly... Boy, they, they really... Really did a number there. So I could Bloody Knuckles... No, I'll just Harmony. And then Bloody Knuckles next turn. Seems strong. Go to 11, sir. And then, you know, crack back for a billion. Because that's what you do. Nope. You don't get to do that. Okay. Fine. Ow. Not the worst. Alright, uh, here we go. So, infiltrate and obfuscate. If she takes damage from the train, she redirects that pretty strongly. Ha <laughs> Thanks, RPD. Um, instead of the contact is also super good. Um, that said, she's not. Yeah, I'll do incidental this turn, and then and she's gonna hit all the heroes too, except for Mister Fixer. He's gonna. Yes. Sure. Um, okay, so now... I guess it's just this. 
bring down Fright Train as quickly as we can. Operative is up. Okay, we got an extra infiltrate, infiltrate and obfuscate, which is interesting. Yep, fine. Okay, that's annoying. This is a little hairy. She doesn't have anything to play, which is a nuisance. So unfortunately, she's just kind of doing this. He's at four. We still got quite a ways to go. We're not done yet. Um, so kick the tires. Unfortunately, this is not going to be uh, the best, but we can blow up. I guess the Ido practitioner. Train's going to hit the Operative and Ermin. That's strong. Police are here. And they shoot Operative. Oh, actually, that's perfect for the story. Because uh, Bartholomew York's kicking around. Okay. Sure. Ow. Snap decision. Did I do that wrong? Oh, oh, you're talking about. Never mind. Everything's fine. I know what I'm talking about. Um, so meditation is here, but I've already got what I need here. I'm going to go bloody knuckles. Boy, pretty much anything else can take out Fright Train. I'm extremely tempted to just start crashing on the other two, uh, specifically the Operative, for extra because of the extra damage. go with this to mainstay. Ow. So we're not done yet, but we're not that far off of it either. It's going to be three. Alright. I'm going to whack Fright Train. So currently, we have roughly the same amount of hit points across the board. Okay, that's fine. We realistically don't care about that in any way, shape, or form. Driving that to mainstay because we don't want the nemesis damage for Mr. Fixer. Unfortunately, once again, Parse has nothing in hand. So, she's going to go ahead and... I guess start... Ugh. I guess start shooting Ermin. Don't hit Ermin? Okay. Hold on. I'll just hit Operative instead. That's fine. But why? Well, that, that, that tube, RPD, I forgot about that. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Um... Ha! 
Highest for monorail. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I want her and knife to be highest. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely correct. I can play mono a mono on. Yep, see? Orchid's got it. Orchid and I are right, right on the same wavelength here. Oh, actually, I can just kill Operative. Actually, I should have directed one damage to Drat. Hold on. Well, fine. I think we still got this. There's the bike. All right, so did I, I did play that, right? Yes, I did, okay. Do that. Oh, wait, what? No, it didn't work. Second lowest. All right, well, fine, we'll get her in another way. I can't use powers though. That's not good. That's actually really bad. Um Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, definitely moving the knuckles, but I'm just taking a minute here. Hapless Hal is still the real vic real hero of the night. Yeah, that's for sure. He sure is. I can get her with pretty much anything. Um, it's fine. Actually, that was probably stupid. That is not going to help, because I can't use powers, so I guess we're double drawing. Sorry, Fixer. No good. Does Parse have anything in hand right now? Yes, she does. I guess we're just send it to fix her. Oh, shoot. Alright, fine. Kinetic neutralizer. Sure. Why not? Keep turning. Thank you. Reveal three from the deck, put one on bottom, one, the other two in hand. All right, fine. Uh, so impossible shot, just in case we go bad again. Okay, there we go. Okay, awesome. True. Man. Wow, that just went badly, badly wrong. What does this flip side do? Draw a card, destroy environment target. Man. Well, unfortunately, Parse is going to take a billion from the monorail this turn. I don't know that there's anything good here. I guess just play out the, the bike so then you have it. And then we're drawing extra cards? Yeah, sure. There's the belter. I was wondering when that would show up. Alright, monorail. Oh, it's gonna hit itself! Okay. 
Yes. This is not helpful. That's fine. That's gone. Um, one target, two, and two. Sure. Okay, bye bye paparazzi. Poss okay, fine. We can get her with, with powers. That's as long as we don't die here, we can get her with powers. Calypso, fine. It's a crazy train, not a monorail, apparently. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's that's annoying. Oh man. That's that could be a problem. Oh, we're going to hope this doesn't happen. We don't need that. What we do need is to just hit her for a billion. She's back at six. Okay, charge is fine. Again, we have to survive, but... He's going to go to one. Either way, they go to one here. Nope, he's going to die crap that's not good that's not good wait a minute hold on yep yeah I know I messed that up now that went badly wrong that said I think Pars can take her out <laughs> oh no she can't well I mean okay fine we do this, and then Mainstay takes her out. But boy, this was a scrap. If Mainstay can get through for one and one, I think we got it. Yep, one and one. Okay, we did it. We did it! Whew. I I am literally okay. I am literally sitting here sweating because that was such a thing. Uh, okay, so uh, Parse bends over Ermin, lying in a heap on the sidewalk, and picks up a medallion with Chinese characters on it. She looks up, and we can see a freight train-sized hole in the wall of the Megalopolis. Excuse me. Megalopolis Museum of Fine Arts. Uh, guess we won't be returning this to the museum today. Mr. Fixer extends a hand and begins examining it with his fingers. This relic bears markings from the temple in the mountains. It ought to be returned there. Can you tell me exactly where you're figuring on going? Knife is tapping some buttons on her, f on her prototype gauntlet. I believe I can. Knife and Mr. Fixer open a portal and step through it with the other two not far behind. The team is brought to, a, to the middle of a snowy hillside in the middle of the night. Mainstay shivers. You're sure this is it? Soft a cold here, Slim. The Temple of Zhulong is nowhere in sight. The temple only appears to those desperate enough to need it. We'll have to wait until we're on the brink of death before we can see it. Pars looks confused. That seems awfully risky and time-consuming. Mr. Fixer sits on a snow-covered rock and begins to meditate, attempting to slow his heart rate. Knife picks up the medallion and examines it more closely. A thin crack runs up the edge of the coin like... Uh, uh, sorry. A thin crack runs up the edge of the coin-like structure. Using her energy blade as a scalpel, she peels away the thin layer of clay and gold painting. As more of the relic is revered, revealed, <clears throat> the Chinese characters give way to glowing eldritch symbols and runes, the astute reader will recognize the primary specific symbol as the yellow sign. Uh, this cannot be good, can it? The wind gains an eerie green mist effect, and a demonic cackling fills the air. Okay, game two... Did, I, I got phrasing wrong? I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, game two tonight should be a little more difficult, I think. 
Uh, brings us back to classic mode. We do have the same hero team. Um, <clears throat> there they are. And mainstay. The environment, of course, is the Temple of Zhulong. One of my favorite places for, for a story with Mr. Fixer involved. Uh, and the villain, because we hate ourselves, is Skinwalker Gloomweaver. Um, phrasing is difficult. It sure is. Ow. Ugh. All right. Game two. Let's do it. Oh, okay, fine. At least it's not agent of text spite, yeah. Alright, this time along. Mr. Fixer has bloody knuckles, dual crowbars, pipe wrench, and tire iron. Parse has buffer overload, data mining, quick calculation, and segmentation fault. Knife has battlefield experience, energy burn for the greater good and wrecking uppercut. And Voidguard Mainstay has Durasteel Studded Vest, Headlock, School of Hard Knocks, and Sweet Rhonda. Um, Skinwalker Gloomweaver, just because I haven't seen him in a while. He plays a card every time something is destroyed. When he would be destroyed, he flips over to the other side and has, what, like 100 hit points or something? Yeah. Non-villain target with the second lowest three damage. All right, well, yeah, no, they they are not strong with this particular enemy. Here's the pouch, but that's okay. Ugh. So crowbars is is solid here. Pipe wrench all always always good. Um, we got a bunch of tools here to start with. I think I'd rather you rather run out the crowbars. Just we're hitting more than one thing. Pouch is reducing all damage. Um, headlock, gloom weaver, nothing bad could happen. Yeah, we'll do fine on the front, but. Backside might be interesting. So, what do we have? I mean, buffer overflow is, is not nothing. Uh, data mining not helpful here. Quick calculation is, is great. Um, segmentation fault not helpful. I'm tempted to just go buffer overflow here. Um, that's definitely not helpful. That's not even a consideration. Quick calculation is super good. Yeah, I think that's probably what it is. Alright. We've already got one of these. Having a second wouldn't hurt. Man, two critical multipliers, though. Do we have the engine to do it? We got a segmentation fault. That's not nothing. Eh, I don't think we're set up for that. I think having one and one is just better. Yeah, I think it is dump overflow. All right. Yeah, it's we're good enough. It's it's good enough. It's not it's not the worst. Um, this is she is really a, a huge nuisance, and I want to get rid of her. Another quick calculation is a great draw. Um, energy burn. It's, it's not bad. Boy, uppercut super good. Um. I like Battlefield Experience quite a lot.
Energy Burn can get through it for a lot on Gloomweaver. That's what? Four damage? Something like that? My math's probably off. Um, plus her this. Yeah, alright, let's do it. That's three. Kill the oh, kill Pouch and Snake first. Okay, I mean, we can do that. Actually, you know what? That was stupid. Let's do this right. Pouch. There we go. And Discord is making noise that I don't want it to. Another energy burn. Okay. I'm just. Yeah, no, I know it does. I was just going to try and ignore it, but... School of Hard Knocks is solid. Oh my gosh. Vest and then... School. Has Liefeld armor. Yeah, I'm going to run out. Vest. Okay. That's a rather innocuous card for starting up. Yeah, exactly, Brian. Okay, that's not good. Meh. Ow. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. So we still don't have a style. I'm running it out. I'm doing it. Let's blow up the snake. Crash at the pouch. Charges here. Vested interest in the combo. Uh, I'm going to do a quick calculation again. Okay. Now we're talking. Okay, recompile is super good. Especially with the... We've got two uh, critical multipliers in hand, which is rad. Um... Exploit vulnerability is really good. Data mining is not as good. I'm going to put that on the bottom, especially being that we already have one. Do that. Keep crashing at the pouch. Data mining is garbo. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. No, it's a trash card. It's discard fodder. Um, burn was solid here. but I'd like to get rid of the pouch first if we can. So if I do Wrecking Uppercut... Sure. We're wrecking Uppercut the pouch. Been the Disciple. Awesome. Crash through his armor here. Uh, okay, so School is, is ready to go. Um... No, let's do it. Alright. The armor is now gone. Yeah, it's true. Mysterious Ceremonies, so that's really good. Um, so it's either play a card... Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Uh. Nope, charge. How about you deal a billion to his face? And by a billion, I mean five. Oh, hold on. 
Since we're not going to kill that, I have a better idea. I think if I if I order this differently, I think this. I'm going to try hitting the pouch for or the pin first. And then hit him for eight. Yes, that's better. That's more like what I wanted to do. Ugh. The other chick's here. It's alright. We still got dual crowbars. Unfortunately, we're still lousy with tools and nothing else. Boy, that's annoying. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Or try start getting rid of you. Hey, overdrive is nice. Whew! That's gas. Alright, let's start the critical multiplier chain. Um, we need to deal. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. We know the dragon's up to no good. It's kind of what he does. Um Incidental contact. Fine. Uh, I'd rather just energy burn. Fixer got the tools, but you got no style. Exactly. There you go. Take that, and then take that. This is going to her to kill her. Don't want to see her anymore. All right. Preemptive payback. I mean, I guess it's not nothing. I'm sure long yelling at the kids to get off his lawn. Yeah. I don't like the idea of headlocking here without Sweet Rhonda around. Cool. Bad to the bone and mono a mono. Yep, here's here's the dragon. We called it. Uh, okay, so what do we have kicking around? Um, <laughs> I could overdrive right now. That might be hysterical. Oh, you know what? I can play the other critical multiplier. That accelerates Parse's turn by uh, by one, which is great. And here comes the dragon. Yep, we knew that was coming. a bunch of ow. It's also a bunch of ow. Dratted dragon. Yep. Sable pen. Fine. Um, oof. It's going to go to mainstay, giving us as much time as we can to destroy it before it takes effect. But he's going to target Zhu Long, which is fine by me. Here comes Overdrive. Allowing us to hit Zhu Long. Um, I don't know if this makes any. Oh, actually, you know what? I gotta hit the pin. Oh, that's true! You're absolutely right! Oh, wow! You're, you're totally correct. I didn't even think of that RPD, but you're you're absolutely right. It's like the one weird corner case where that actually makes some amount of sense. Um, so recompile is pretty solid. Go ahead and do that. It's up to three, so this is a definite discard. Um, I think it's going to be parse or knife here. I just got to make sure I do this. I order this correctly. Extrasensory awareness could be useful. Uh, vulnerability is whatever. 
That's not important. I mean, it is, but it's not. Uh, that's another discard engine. I'm not going to get rid of that. That seems corner case. Yeah, I guess it's this. I could, I mean, there's arguments for other cards there, but it's just the, the, the lowest. Oh my gosh. And we got so many cards drawing. Oh my gosh, there's the other crit mole. Okay, so I'm not just completely daft. All right, here you go. Take that. <laughs> oh my gosh, we drew such gas. Oh my golly. All right, so here's Battlefield. Oh my gosh, I got an idea. We're going to do this. going to run out that. We're going to hit him for 10. Sick. And then we'll run out... Uh, I could do that. Or I could just run out Battlefield Experience. Do... Oh my gosh, so much... Oh my gosh! The chain is real! The chain is so real! Do that. You, go to two. Holy mackerel. He'll do a more to kill his own than you if you tried. Okay. Yeah, we drew another sweet Ronda, so that's that's gas. It means we can destroy one, which chains us off, lets us do with some things. Draw a bunch of cards. Yeah, that seems solid. Alright. Yep, we knew that was coming off. Okay. The assassin comes in, hits Gloomweaver, flips him. Holy mackerel. Skip that. Um, okay, here's the question. Oh, I was going to let Knife play the other... Nope, sorry. Oop. I was going to let Parse play the other critical multiplier. Then we're going to recompile again next turn, dumping a whole bunch of extra damage into Knife. That's unfortunate. Yep. Well. We have damaged Gloomweaver on his flip side. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Is it everything? It's everything. Oh, boy. All right, well, I'm just going to destroy the stuff that I don't care about for now. Or is it every time he... he... Yes, yeah, so we got to, what, deal 101 shot? This is going to be a nightmare. Who knows? I don't know that we, we live through this, but... Um, I guess we'll put him on mainstay stack. Every time something dies, he, hain he heals too. Yeah. Ow. Oh boy, he's gonna. You know, he's just healing right back up. Well, okay. He's he's not. Okay. 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 Um, I think it's time to switch. Is it time to switch this out? Yeah, it is. Huh? Throw out pipe branch. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yep. Alright, cool. Glad we're on the same page tonight, chat. That's, that's solid. I'm happy with that. All right, we know what she's doing. Recompile. Um, updated, whatever. Segmentation. Uh, we're gonna dump this into parse because or knife because she's not long for this world. 
Actually, you know what? Too slow. All right, now we draw a billion cards. Cool. We'll go to Fixer next with this. Um, I'm not going to do that because that's going to go with all the crazy damage. I guess I'm just playing another Battlefield experience. We're going to blow up this one. Hit him for 11. Or more than that, I guess. Um, okay. We can drop the hammer. That's not helpful. We can bring out another Sweet Ronda. We blew up the pin, so that's not an issue. Um, shard Strength is super good. I don't like that. I think we're just running out shard strength here. Cool. Um, Non-environment... Okay, so no is the answer here. Until we, can, until we can maximize that, we're not drawing that card. He's got enough action he can take. Oh god, the dragon's back. Alright. Um, Reveal the Flaws is fine, but not great. I guess we could run out Snap Decision. Start powering that up. I could also Overdrive. Like right now. I mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Yeah, we'll do snap decision. Yep, we knew that was coming. Ah, so much pain. Ow. Well, just take it on the nose, I guess. Ugh, come on. Ugh. Stupid pouch. Yay. Well, we're here. Um... It's the only option we've got, so we might as well. Fixer was not functioning at his prime today. Um, I could discard a card. I'm gonna discard Segmentation Fault. She's not, I mean, we're not lasting another turn here. So it's just now or never.
Yeah, no, for sure. Man. <laughs> She's gonna kill herself if she does any of these things. <laughs> doing that. This is not a strong place to be in, but... He just doesn't have anything good here. Am I just on the mono a mono play? Hammer drop is free. That's true. Yep. card play. I guess it's Parse. But we're not getting too far, so... Yep. Here goes Knife. Syntactic analysis. Oh, wait, really? Hold on. Hang on a second. Oh gosh, you're absolutely right. That was stupid. Wow, hold on. Question is, who do we do this to? Is it knife? Just let her get one more thing in. It doesn't save me, but like, who do I let do this? I mean, Fixer has the most staying power right now. Knife is gonna drop. Mainstay? All right. No, that's stupid. What? <laughs> Fine. Yeah, oh, that's true. All right, hold on. This this was dumb doing this. Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing that. That's not happening. I'm gonna let What's left in Knife's deck? Some one shots that mostly do damage to her. So yeah, I'm gonna do it I'm gonna let Fixer do this. No shoot. Gosh darn it. Parse. Play a card. This one. Let Mr. Fixer do stuff. Play that. Play that. Uh, 
Make it infernal damage. Because that's thematically correct, right? Yeah, he finally he finally he finally got his style in order. Alright, so we are basically just dead here, but Yep. Yeah, he's just eating a bunch of stuff and Yeah. Hit him, hit him. Ah, oh, the Acolyte's here to kill us. Oh, God. Ah. Okay. Mainstay alive at one. <laughs> this is... I, I can't. This is not a winnable situation right here, but... Um... Oh, shoot. Nope, whatever. Mainstay for the I'm not going to win this under a million years. Uh, a, let him use the power. At least we get him to go out, you know, doing a thing. And he kills himself! <laughs> oh well. That was a fun game. I like that. God, it's been a long time since I've gotten Skinwalker Gloomweaver to, down to that close to a win. Uh, Mainstay pulls back the hood of the nearest cultist, revealing shinobi assassins hidden, hidden underneath. The whole thing's a front! An expletive... Uh, expletive deleted... Test! Slim! We're on a wild goose chase! He lunges at the massive dragon, cackling in the background, and his teammates follow suit. A close-up of Zhulong shows the dragon master grinning and snapping his fingers. The temple around them disappears as the team hurtles to a stop in a bizarre, twisting landscape. A man is shown in the distance with greasy black hair and towering black wings, rifling through a cavern of bla blasphemous artifacts. Every once in a while, he tosses one over his shoulder. Mainstay holds out his arms, cautioning his teammates to move quietly. The team creeps slowly forward as Apostate continues rifling through the piles of relics. Suddenly, he appears towering over the team, and his projected doppelganger vanishes. Okay, so... I'm coming, cutting away to the face cam for a minute, because, I want to say, my original plan was a little bit different, and uh, Discord talked me out of it. Uh, the... The trick here is Apostate has had my number lately. Um, and there is enough irreducible damage potential floating around in this team that we might actually be able to push through. Um, no guarantees. He's been a rough... We've had a rough go of it against Apostate. So deep breath. We're going back in. Let's see if we can do this. I really do like this team a lot, though. This is super fun. Just thinky enough. And I need some more soda. Oh, went wrong side. There we go. I do have Parse. Well, we had Parse last time, too, and, and she just drew, drew hot garbage. So, there is that. I see a second here. All right, um, everybody ready? Let's do this. Sorry. All right, Mr. Fixer has 
Bloody Knuckles, Dual Crowbars, Pipe Wrench, and Riveting Crane. Knife has Focusing Conduit Blade, Incidental Contact, Overdo It, and Wrecking Uppercut. Parse has Buffer Overflow, Abrasive cl Critical Multiplier, and Extra Sensory Awareness. Uh, it's not her best start, but we'll, 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 work. we'll make it work. Um, an odd-looking baseball, a mug with a bunch of crossed-out text on it, and a receipt from someone who bought a Casper mattress without using a promo code from a podcast. RPD, this is not a guy's story, dude. Come on. That was last time. Uh, mainstay has Headlock, Mono a Mono, Shard Strength, and Void Belter. Oh, boy. Deep breath. Not looking. Here's Condemnation. Don't do it. I said don't do it. Okay. That's a much, much more... Ex there is a something start then holy mackerel no no no, no. I, i'm not saying it's bad dude I, i'm not saying it's bad at all just not necessarily what we wanted yeah well right <laughs> yeah um so crowbars is solid here, especially when we're getting rid of artifacts. We can audible into pipe wrench. Um, having riveting crane is super good. Oh my golly. I'm gonna run out of riveting crane and start this party. Oh, right. This has its own DR. I forgot about that. Um. But I don't know if this works or not. I may have to I may have to rewind that, but Okay. Focusing conduit blade, great. Nope, it doesn't work. Okay. So I'm gonna rewind that. Come on. Okay. Tiger Claw is solid. Crow crowbar's first, then crane? No. Well, I, I can only hit one thing this turn, so it doesn't matter. This is going to be zero. Oh, no, it's one. Let's get rid of Condemnation. I don't want to see it. So we are going to start out, obviously, with Extrasensory Awareness. Um, so, hey, uh, yeah, there's Profane Summons. We don't want to see that. Fallen Angel does... Okay, yeah, 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 I don't care about that. I want to discard Pro Profane Summons. I will put that on the top of the deck. We can kill that. Nope. That's fine. We can pile is good. We'll get crit molts going. That's awesome. Belter. Belter's really good. Shard strength is also very good. Run out of shard strength. Let's do that. Cat requires your attention. Yeah, you got it, Orchid. Positive energy field. Alright. Knew the pilferer was coming. Fine. Ow, ow. Um, now we can do dual crowbars. That energy field is going to be a nuisance. Cool. Alright, we're cruising now. Um...
That's what I'm talking about. Energy Burn's a great, great pickup. Uh, we'll get the critical multiplier train going. And we'll start rigging his deck some more. Oh, man. Well, okay, fine. Let's cancel the apocalypse. Get the pugilist on top, that's fine, I don't care. No. We can destroy the pugilist, I'm not worried about that at all. I mean, fine, but like, yeah. We hit for a billion here. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Blow-up condemnation. Yeah, the, the apocalypse was cancelled before it could even be announced. Okay, so that's not going to get through. We're just going to crash on him. Oh, actually, I could have could destroyed the imp here. Probably better. We had all the time in the world to beat up on apostate. Presumably. Okay, time crawls. Yep. Fine. Ow. Not in the worst positions. Uh, okay. So, we only can do one or the other here. Being as set up as I like, I'm going to use a power from him. All right. Pugilist reduces damage. Got to find a way to crack through that periapt. I can, but, you know. I'm going to burn him for a bunch. Infiltrates here. Oh, that's right. Um, so I really want to use a power, unfortunately. Rigging his deck is so much more important than uh, Fallen Angel just gains things back. I'd rather discard that. Nope. Um, I don't really care about any of those. We have to pay back is a good draw. Each player reveals the top card of his deck. Okay, fine. Nope. Ow. Nice. Take that. Nice. Devour! Devour! Well, that didn't help. Okay, we knew this was coming. It sucks, but we'll take it. Okay, so... You need to break through the damage with Fixer to make Periap vulnerable, or you could use Fixer to hit the demon first, then the relic. Well, the demon, demon's gone. Um, problem being is this is causing huge problems. And unfortunately, I don't have any way to get rid of it. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I have actually no way to get rid of time crawls. I'm just relying on the deck to put itself out. Um, so Bloody Knuckles does not seem strong here. I 
I could swap out to Tiger Claw. Skip the hit, play, hit apostate first. Oh yeah. You're right, because the increase. I forgot about that. You're right. Nicely done, RPD. Very, very nicely done. Um, incidental contact is such a d bunch of damage. I don't know if I trust myself to handle to do that. But I'm doing it. This is my best play. Oh, we're, we're okay. We're not we're not dead yet. Yeah, no, it, you're it's, you're right. Um, so I need the power here. So we're not playing a card. Okay. That I don't want to see. I'd rather see that than this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is discard that, put this on top, and just have to deal with a thing. No. Well, we're drawing good cards. We just need to get rid of this. Drop hammer. Come on, distortion off the top. Time flies. Dang it. Okay, we knew that was coming. Okay, fine. Well, once again, we're just in the same position. A power here. How is that still at full health? Oh, did I hit the bubbles by mistake? Oh well. <laughs> oh well, I made a mistake. Um, and we're still we're still just rigging the deck. I'd rather see Fallen Angel on top. Stop jinxing, jinxing it, Brian. I don't want to see that. Do I care about Relic Spirit? I honestly think I'd rather see that. First time a Relic Spirit is destroyed each turn. As long as I just don't hit that. Yeah. It's not doing anything else. Keep Relic Spirit away from this? All right. Man. Nothing in the bin. No free plays. Dang it. This is a nuisance. Risk of it getting blown up by accident, yeah. themselves damage. I'm just going to take the lumps here. There we go. That may have been a mistake, but... I think we're just dead here. Okay. All right. Unfortunately, we've still got this time crawls. It's a nuisance. Oh, 
Oh shoot, I did that backwards. I'm gonna do this first, destroy the bubbles, then deal three to him. Overdrive solid if we can get a play, get an extra play. This has gotten personal enough, and honestly, like if so, RPD. I, I've said before, if I'm playing for real, like deck manipulation doesn't bother me. It's just like it makes for a boring stream. It's not going to be good enough. Just go with this, I guess. This is... I, I'm pretty sure we've just lost because time crawls. Discard that. Put Pilfer on top. No. This is three as opposed to... If this doesn't work, then I will rewind it, but... How many more stories in a row must Apostate be the final boss before you get a Nemesis icon in real life? Yeah. Time flies! Sick! But he's going to be playing two cards too, which is not good. Destroy one card. It's Crypt Molt. Unfortunately, I'm not using it. Sick. All right, here we go. Here we go. I think we go Bloody Knuckles into Overdrive. It's, it, hold on. Yep. Play extra, draw extra. Okay, yeah, I can stop dealing the others. It's fine. Hold on. Nope, I did that wrong. Did that wrong. We want to do this into this. Then we go again. Bloody Knuckles into charge is better. Really? So I target Relic Spirit, it doesn't kill it, then I go back into Apostate, cut him to seven. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, we got this. Wrecking Uppercut does three. Yeah, we got this, for sure. And we got another card play. Yeah, right. I'm going to do it, but I don't really care because I think this just kills him. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally got there. It took us a few weeks to see this screen again. But we got him. Revenge is a dish best served demonic, everybody. Mainstay plunges the Oblivion Shard in a good length of chain deep into Apostate's chest cavity. No! What have you done? The demon dissolves into a mist and a deep laughter fills the air. The realm of discord begins to shake and swirl violently, casting a shadow of Oblivion over the heroes. Oblivion extends a hand toward the heroes, but just as the colossal fist closes around them, the landscape disappears, thrusting the team back towards Earth. They reappear on the street in Megalopolis only moments after they had left. Officer Bartholomew Yorick looks startled. That was fast. Mainstay sighs and stomps off toward the nearest bar with knife not far behind. Mr. Fixer says nothing, but pulls open the steel shutter once again. 
The final panel of the book shows Mr. Fixer climbing a ladder outside the warehouse. Mainstay brushes some dirt from his hands and leans on a push broom. While we're in town, I guess we better make the best of it. The team stands together on the curb outside, looking at the sign that formerly read Slim's Garage. It has been turned backwards. Having been retrieved from Rook City, it's been turned backwards and now reads, Protectors for Payment. Sorry, prote Protectors for Profit. Inquire within. So, it's not entirely clear what Apostate was up to. Clearly he was uh, doing some shenaniganery with doppelgangers and mind control and taking over the Cult of Gloom temporarily. Uh, and who even knows what the chairman was up to in the opening panels of the book. Uh, but our researchers tell me that it's kind of directed, or kind of directly, or it, it is directly tied to what was going on in Mr. Fixer's stories uh, in the issues immediately leading up to this one. Uh, but it looks like Apostate was either trying to anchor Oblivion's arrival or prevent him from entering reality in the first place. Who's to say? Uh, but there is a backup story to be told. Chat, we got 15 minutes, give or take. What would you like to see? And Casper Mattress receipts. <laughs> what would you say about Casper Mattresses, RPD? They are the comfortable. I sleep on one. It's, not, it's pretty nice. And we definitely didn't use a coupon gain from a podcast for that one. We probably used a coupon from somewhere else, but, you know. Speedrun Dawn. Omnitron. We haven't done an Omnitron game in a while. Speedrun Omnitron? Yeah, alright. Let's do Omnitron. I like Omnitron. Um, fr Freedom Five, the yeah, Omnitron, <laughs> Speed Speed Romnitron. Uh, that's a mouthful. Sorry, Discord has just shown me something that I did not want to see. Um, hmm. <laughs> Suggestions for heroes. I'm bringing Legacy because I just haven't seen him in a while. And environments. Tachyon? Yep. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to bring in Super Scientific because I just like her better. <laughs> I like that one better. Um, you know what? One Void Guard member. Okay. <laughs> well, if you're letting me choose. <laughs> I like that. Um, you know who we haven't seen in a while? Oh, Michael Conte. We haven't seen Naturalist in a while. We'll get him. And we need an environment here. That's not what I mean, RPD. That said, I think with minimal effort, you'll probably figure out what I mean. Um, no, I don't want to do double Omnitron. You know what? I'm bringing in Silver Gulch. Just because it makes absolutely no sense. Let's do this. Start the clock. Well, no, don't start the clock until I've read the cards. Uh, Legacy has... Come on. Bolster allies abrasive next evolution and takedown. Super scientific tachyon has ab abrasive blinding speed, hypersonic assault, and quick insight. Writhe has cloak projector, abrasive fight and fade, and lurking shadows. Uh, Naturalist has bestial shift, indomitable force, primal charge, and the predator's eye. Okay. Start the clock. Assault drone. Fine. Repair drone. Fine. Don't care. Um, bolster allies. Let's do it. Nice. There we go. Um, 
Quick Insight's really good. I don't care about any of that. Uh, it's probably just Quick Insight here. Uh, let's discard some bursts. Sick. That went that that went entirely correctly. Could not have gone better. Could not have gone better. Um going for ham here um, it doesn't really matter sec keep going keep going keep it up keep it up um, Let's go with, go with this. We're gonna go get Croc and start going, start getting damage going. Tyler Hayes, look who shows up. Blow up these drones. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, you know you're not staying around long. Fine. Yep. Fine. Yep. Don't care. Um. We'll run out Surge of Strength. Hopefully we draw something good. Interception. I mean, I guess that's good. Um, let's do Pushing the Limits. We can get the extra cards. Uh, we'll do... I mean, we can do Sucker, sucker Punch. Yep. It's just going to be Accelerated. Yeah, Diddy. If you would kindly. I could blow up Tyler Hayes or. Yep, that's exactly what I want to do. Interesting that. That didn't get galvanized. Oh, because it must be the cloak dealing damage. Whatever. Tyler don't take kindly to cults. I don't believe he does. Um, Predator's Eye. It's a billion damage. Yeah, let's do it. Get him. Get him. Is the small one with the twin pistol? Oh, uh, Maddie or Cyrus? No, it's Cyrus. Sheriff Pratt's here. Uh, yeah, we'll take the damage off that. It's fine. Um. Do that. Um, sucker punch out the other one. Nothing to hit with that, but it's fine. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Matt's the one with the monocle, yep. No, I know. I just, I misspoke. Um, sure. Somber Tinker's fine. Do that. Yep. <laughs> Rath is so good. I love Rath so much.
this team. You guys. There's Cyrus. Speak of the devil. It's fine. Don't care. Yep, assault drone. Repair drone. Fine, whatever. Fuck. Hit you. Galvanize. Rive is hands down my favorite character right now. Like not not even not even a question. Oh shoot, I could have done no, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, not quite time yet. Oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> Wow, that's the first time I've slept in a very, very long time. <laughs> Sorry, Krista. Uh, not quite there yet. Lurking. Don't care. Lies of the Shadows is fine. Go ahead and get the Shadow Cloak. Um, I don't care about any of that. Looking at what's in my hand, that's not helpful, that's not helpful, no, nope, I'm just going to skip. Oh, sick. Good thing I did. Corn beast, so good. Yep, fine. Oh, EPE. I don't care. Oh, that's disappointing. Um, the EP does have to go away. Like, badly. Um, yep. Yeah. Do take down. And we got another hypersonic right here, so no worries. Electromagnetics, how do they even work? Oh, Brian. Alright. Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! This is coming out, too. Can I deal nine? Yeah, probably. Now the big villain is the EPE. I'm quiet. That's not helpful. It doesn't really matter here. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Right, this is a little, a little, uh, there we go. 
Self-centered, I guess it would be. There we go. That's how you chain off. And finally... Uh, that's not going to do it. That's not going to do a thing. Well, we're not quite there yet, unfortunately. So we may have to just run another turn. Ryan's just standing in a corner brooding. Just run out resilient hide. Get that croc back. Not that it's going to do us any good. I think we're going to win on Tachyon's turn, but... Now we're talking. Yep, there you go. EPE does absolutely nothing. Do I have... No, I don't have any damage, so skip. Galvanize. There's Inspiring Presence. Uh, yeah, we'll take the damage. We're going to just hit it, hit it for a billion. And stop the clock. That was a fun game. That was a fun game. Yeah, but it's way more fun to hit, hit him for a billion. And I think Motivational Charge is just one. 13 minutes, thank you, Seamus. Not, not my best, but certainly not the worst either. I hope everybody enjoyed tonight's broadcast of Tales from the Archive here on Handle Arbor Games. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share our channel on social media and in person. You can follow Handle Arbor Twitter, uh, on, on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube, as well as Handle Arbor Games here on Twitch. If you want to see some more content from me, including the Adjacent Hex podcast and the occasional sketch comedy video, facebook.com forward slash another letdown is the place to be for that. If you have story submissions for me to tackle or just want to say hi, hit me up on Twitter. My name is at D-E-N-O-N-C-Z-D. I also do live streams of other video games on my team's Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv forward slash another letdown. Uh, Zach Sucks at Games broadcasts Thursday nights at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's also the time in which we uh, riff new Tales from the Archive stories, including this one. This one was uh, written... Uh, conceptualized by Brian the Wolf Hunt, uh, and then contributed. Uh, we had RPD, we had Chamali, we had Sonvar, a whole bunch of people contributed to this story, so it was really, really fun. Um, so, yeah, if you want to contribute, watch Zach Sucks at Games Thursday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we also do Zach and Alex Gear Up every once in a while on a Tuesday night. Um, so, look, for, watch Twitter for upcoming dates for that. Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available for iOS, Android, and PC, Mac, and Linux via Steam, and as always, in good old-fashioned cardboard and ink. You can get the game and more information at sentinelsdigital.com. I hope everybody has a great week, and I will talk to you either Thursday night or next Sunday. Have a good one. Bye.